<laughs> Hi folks, this is Jay. Hope you're okay today. It's good to see you. And uh, hope everybody's okay. Just making a quick video about the death of dogmatic atheist. Like I said, I've made a video before and then I made another one about it, about these dogmatic atheists. There are a lot of dogmatic atheists around. And they have a mantra. And the mantra is kind of like they are people of the scientific method and uh, it, it just gets up my nose because they come across as if they're super intelligent, super inte intellectual, you know. And uh, we're going to use the scientific method on you and we're going to analyse you and we're going to critique you um, because everything we do is absolutely rational and it's just a load of big baloney. It's a load of big baloney nonsense that these atheists uh, prepare from the high leaders and to the uh, rank and file people. Uh, I know you atheists are going to say, we don't have leaders. Well, unfortunately you do. You have these uh, film star kind of atheists like Aaron Ra running around and whatever. You. Sorry Aaron Ra, love to you bro. Hope you're okay mate. Uh, good to, to ho hope you're okay and, or, or, uh, and, and your fellow uh, film star atheist. I mean that tongue in cheek. I don't mean that in any unkind way. Okay? Um, but anyhow, you've got all these atheists around uh, on YouTube, uh, from the highest to the down to earth people, and they bang on and on and on and on and on, till it just till it's blue in the face, as if they're rational. They are these rational people with rational thinking, and they don't have anything irrational, or they don't have any presuppositions that they haven't thought about. Well, I always remember Pascal, don't you remember Pascal? Who I absolutely adore, by the way. I think he's fantastic. So there, to any atheist who thinks that Pascal isn't, I think he's great, okay? And Pascal says that when we uh, use uh, logic and reason, there is always uh, the moral, there is always imagination and other factors playing onto reason, and also reason can be contradictory even the greatest of thinkers can have self contra contradictory ideas so I don't go along with this idea that there are these atheists walking around super cool super intellectual super scientific and they just don't have contradictions uh, they're not influenced by their imagination they're not influenced by their morality and they have no presuppositions as if they're some kind of super computers I don't buy it. Never have and never will. I'm sorry. Never have and never will. Apart from the fact that I just think it's so narrow-minded when you have poetry and art and, and you have a, a whole variety of ways of, of knowing. There are all many different ways you can perceive things and not necessarily have scien a, a scientific methodology. You actually have people who do practical things like making baskets or doing... Uh, artistic things that's nothing to do with science so I agree that science is fantastic and it's great but don't give me this baloney that you're so full of reason and rationality and that's all there is because yeah it's great but there's lots of other things as well that you are just so narrow-minded as atheist that you forget so where was I? I was on my little soapbox about presuppositions. For I had a bit of a debate with someone about presuppositions. And here's another presupposition that you are atheists have. That you cannot prove. That presupposition is this. This scientific method that you keep banging on about. As if which is a cheat, by the way. It's a cheat because you wouldn't have the scientific method if it weren't for Christianity because it was Christianity that inspired the scientific method, by the way. Oh, yes, it was atheist. It was Christianity that inspired the scientific method. It was people like Bacon who wrote down how to do uh, the reasoning necessary to get involved in doing the scientific method. And Bacon was a Christian, by the way. And the Christian scientists throughout history of the ones that were maintaining and inspiring the scientific method and then you atheists go and turn around and tell us that as if you're the ones with the only with, with with the scientific method which is a nonsense a total utter nonsense we 
helped to develop the scientific method. Galileo, Copernicus, Newton, do I want do I need to go on? Well let's get back to my point. My point is that you atheists have got presuppositions that you don't think about and that you're not honest and you come across as if you're scientific and deductive and all the rest of it. But deep down, there are some things that you are irrational. Or there are some things that you assume that you cannot prove. And you are dishonest. You are dishonest because you will not face it. You will not face it. And you don't want to be stripped of your irrationality. You want to hold on to the illusion that you are rational in everything that you do. And you are not. You are not. And I'm going to prove it to you. Okay? This scientific method that you keep banging on about. scientific method that you keep banging on about has a presupposition of morality yeah a presupposition of morality you cannot have science without the presupposition not to lie a scientist has to submit his research or her research material honestly has to conduct the research material, uh, research honestly. Now that's a presupposition. Honesty is a presupposition that you as an atheist cannot prove. You cannot prove as an atheist honesty as an objective morality. If you believe in evolution, which you do, and, and, and morality has evolved over time, then being honest is just a social construct. It is not an objective truth. So you use morality as an assumption behind and before your science. Something that you cannot prove as objectively true. Checkmate, atheist. Checkmate, atheist. Checkmate. God bless you. Love you all and take care.